Pulls in the details. Let's get down to it. <laughs> All right, B, what up? So right off the bat, there's this young, passionate energy. And even though I say it's a young energy, it doesn't feel young in age. It only feels young in energy. And that's a new one for me. So we're just going to roll with it. Somebody here is feeling trapped. Feeling stuck. Kind of taken by surprise, a little half vulnerable, half, half, I'm hearing half naked, half naked. Something about what they thought they had didn't end up panning out. Let's see if we can narrow down to this. Yeah, the King of Cups. That's this young energy, even though that's kind of contradictory. Right now, I feel like your child self is in the forefront, and that's why that young energy is present. So you're finding out that all that you built on was not solid. It's this unstable foundation, this... Um, this there's that false fiddle again. This false fiddle... Four of Wands in reverse is what we have here. You're sitting, though, in the Two of Wands. And they're, they're saying the decision-making state. You're sitting out on your balcony, and you are overlooking all that is. You have your map in your hand. And you're just deciding where and what you want to do. You don't feel entirely grounded. You, you only feel half connected at best. So in this realization, this, this sh shock, um, you're being asked to pick up your confidence. This is a transitional state for you. This is a little bit of, this is a little bit of death followed by rebirth. I just get this, this celebration of death rather than the sorrow that comes with it. This is part of that transformation. Um, the, this page of wands right here has a bunch of sunflowers on it. I don't know if you can see it. A ton of sunflowers. You have your peacock feather in your hat, which is beautiful, which is great. You're moving forward with a little bit of confidence now. You're starting to come out of this hibernation you've been in. They're calling it maybe a little touch of the depression. Um, they're saying you're about to regain your jive for life, which is a weird word, but your jive for life. You're going to get back at your skill. You're overcoming a loss, or I should say a perceived loss, because my team is saying you actually haven't lost anything. Devil's in the details. So take a look at what you've lost and you'll find you haven't lost a single thing. But you're sitting there. You're sitting there like you may have lost quite a lot. You're sitting there by the water looking and combing over your emotions. Combing over how full your cups are. Realizing that some have fallen in the water. But when you're of water, when you fall in the water, you're whole. So, Mr. King of Cups... Just keep in mind that you're not broken, nor have you lost a single thing. You're actually getting back on, I hear, your high horse and starting to take control. You're starting to slowly move into, slowly move into what was destined for you. Slowly move back into the things that you have always wanted to work and craft and keep your mind on. So they have something interesting coming in for you. There's a lot of new beginnings out here. Every single ace is out here, but it's out here as a bridge. They're asking you not to get distracted. You need to follow your star at all times. So right now, you are this young, childlike energy. And they're asking you to mature through this transition. You have always been the king of cups. 
They're reminding you, you have always been the king of cups. Your child needed to be heard. They needed to be felt. They needed to be understood and reintegrated. But they're telling you, don't forget about your queen of cups. Your queen of cups is acting as your star here. They're telling you that part of yourself is what you need to follow. They're saying you're blissfully unaware of what is before you. And they're asking you to pay more attention. You have the Ace of Wands out here, which goes hand in hand with this decision you need to make. This idea of what you choose to leave behind and what you choose to embrace. You have the Ace of Coin out here. All about new, fresh beginnings for you. But I have a feeling it has directly to do, directly to do with your wheel here. Yep, fulfillment. Jesus. You're on the right track. They're just reminding you to water what you have. You see, you have flowers. They may not be in this full cocky bloom like you would like them to be. But they're reminding you to water what you have. Because that's where it's leading you. It's leading you slowly and steadily down the path. They had you out here at one point as the resting bear. And they're asking you to stand up. And he's, he's covered up, so talk, don't be mad. But they're asking you to stand up. And come out of, come out of hiding, come out of, out of slumber. They're saying that you have all that you need. They're asking you to integrate. And when you integrate is when you're going to find what you think is missing, but has always been there. The devil's in the details. They're asking you to take a harder look at what you got. Bye, B.